Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. Um, a little apologies for coming behind them schedule. But we'll go straight to what we have for you today as we link up to Olusheyi Oyebode, who is the coordinator of Dolphin Swimming League, waiting for us at the ongoing Dolphin Swimming League in Lekki. Good morning, sir. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you. It's good to have you on the show. Sorry, it's raining. It's raining seriously. And we also have an event. Okay, thank you very so much. So, good morning to our well wishers and our viewers. Yes, yeah, so let's go straight, uh, Ulisha Yoyebode. The fact that you've been organizing um, swimming competition, not many swimming competition goes on in the country, but you are one of those that do it consistently. What are the challenges of um, swimming as a sport in the country? Yeah, the, 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 the basic challenge is the structure. Um, and, and, I, and I want to say it's not peculiar to swimming alone. Um, is the structure that evolved from the grassroots level to the stardom. Um, having been involved in swimming organization and um, competition all this while, we discovered that there are a lot of talents. And um, at our own level, parents are willing to invest a lot, but there is no structure on ground to, to help and assist and aid the performance of many of these children. So... Um, they, 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 they were being annexed, they have been taken over by most of all these foreign countries. For example, many of the, <coughs> many of our students discovered from the Rugby League <coughs> are now swimming at the junior level in the UK, which is not a good story for us. So we need a collaborative effort in order to get some of all these challenges uh, um, resolved. The Aquatic Federation, yes, they are always involved, but they need to be properly coordinated so that they have a good structure that can take a child from the grassroots level to international level. So, so of, over the years, with this your um, um, well-known and notable uh, um, reasons for why we've not done so well, uh, why is it that over the years it's difficult for the Federation to solve this issue? Or why has the government not involved itself to ensure that these issues are solved? Please call me again. Yeah, why, why is the government has not done enough to solve these um, notable um, problems you've just mentioned? Why has the government not done enough to solve these problems? Well, it's, 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 it's a normal thing in Nigeria. You know, what we call abnormal has become a normal thing in Nigeria. Hmm. Um, the government uh, doesn't have much focus. Um, I was just discussing with somebody this uh, morning concerning the involvement of the political parties and the sports agenda if you if you can observe even when they are campaigning there's nothing like sport sport mm. is never in their own agenda and that is where we are getting this wrong we don't have the right peg in the right grand hole we just always look for people that we want to help people want to satisfy and that is why we continue to have challenges not only swimming alone it's only pathetic that you have um, the numbers of children that are willing to do sport, just like in the entertainment industry, the same thing is applicable to sport. So not until when the government sits down and now reason on way forward concerning this, then we continue to have the same challenge. So what then has been keeping you going? What then has been, um, Olusha, everybody, what has been keeping you going? What has been that drive that you have consistently be having a swimming league and a swimming competition among schools? So what then is your drive for you? Please come again. Yeah, what, what is the drive? I'm sure the network. What, what was the drive for you, the consistency? Why, year in and out, you keep having this competition, regardless to the odds and the challenges swimming is having in this country? Well, well, it's not all about our own doggedness to make it happen. It's what we have passion for. And uh, most of all, these things has been collective and individual effort. And that, is, that has been the major problem. This uh, swimming league has been sustained by uh, contribution from schools and our own individual effort. Um, the passion, very, very awesome. When you see the kids, you will be moved to do a lot of things. But beyond that, beyond that, to sustain it, we need 
a lot of uh, support. Like, like, like I said, government doesn't have a plan. It's only when you arrive, that is when they see you. Hmm. And uh, before you arrive, something ought to be done. It's very, very, very important. It's highly crucial that we have to look at it. Before now, we always believe that black people cannot swim. But that has been proved wrong year in and year out. So if we do what we're supposed to do, right, as a nation or as individuals, why not? Why not? We, 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 can, we can get the best out of some of all these children. If you see what we are saying, if you can see what we are saying over the years, you'll be marveled. But most of all these children, they visit out. Immediately they leave their secondary school, there is no structure, there is no transition, then they move on. Hmm. So what then, I'm sure a lot of people are listening to us across the globe, and I'm sure, what then do you think should be listed, should be said to ensure that um, we, what, what are the things that need to be done in, uh, among all stakeholders to ensure that um, we have a perfect streaming structure in the country? Perhaps somebody might come out and um, help us solve the problem. So what then are the, the basics or the items that need to be done so that we can have a good swimming structure in the country? I guess uh, we have to do. We have the course swimming in Nigeria. That is the in world. They they they're supposed to look at it and produce a lot of swimmers. But at their level, they will tell you they they, they lack finance, and uh, it has always been the same the same story. And that's why we are not um, getting it right. Swimming is a consistent thing. And um, if you are not consistent with it, you are bound to lose uh, 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 the skills. And that is where the aquatic federation comes in. They need to work in collaboration with many state associations and uh, many organizations. There would be, um, that there might be a lot of sponsors that want to come out at that level. They are the ones to advise them that, look, we have various programs. Because most of all these programs have been officiated by them, they've been coordinated by them. So if they have an outline of the program they have within a year, then many sponsors will come. Hmm. So now um, I, I want us to I want you to help us, um Olisha Yebode, to atomize what are the challenges and how to solve the challenges. Come again, please. Yes, I, I want you to itemize the challenges um, that the Federation is facing. Some said infrastructure, some said um, lack of maintenance. For, for you as a major big stakeholder in swimming in the country, what are those things that need to be solved and how do you go about it? See, the, the, the first thing is getting a vision here. The first thing is not infrastructure. We need to have a roadmap. When you have a roadmap, you have a direction. It is part of that roadmap that you'll be talking about infrastructure. What is the structure? What is the plan that they are having? There's supposed to be an agenda. There's supposed to be a written document of all the events and how they're supposed to help. What about trainings of coaches? I mean, the, the, there are a lot of opportunities that they can. It's only when they have this, they can push it forward. Somebody probably in the government can answer that, yes, these people are serious. Because the most, the, the most dangerous thing is having wrong people in the right place. Mm -hmm. Many of our administrators are not real administrators. They are just looking for an avenue to make money. We have to place themselves. So they don't have the idea. So the first thing is not infrastructure. At times you can have the best facilities in a class. If you don't have a good teacher, forget it. The children will fail. So the, the first thing is not infrastructure. It is all about the vision. Where are we? Where do you expect us to go? And how do we achieve that purpose? That should be the most important thing. So when you have a visionaire, they can collate everything together. Like, for example, we have uh, um, the School Sports Federation of Nigeria, supposed to be an arm of the Aquatic Federation of Nigeria. And mm -hmm. it needs to work in tandem in order to make sure that they get the best. But this is not happening. Everyone works on their own. Why? Because... Anytime there's money, they can easily sit on it. And then um, it's what you give that you get. And that's why we keep on having all these uh, uh, challenges. It's not that our people cannot swim. But there's difference between coordinated swimming and uh, uh, um, ordinary swimming. Mm. Well, so not until when we have a coordinated one, then that is when these challenges will be over. Okay. Now, uh, we, we always talk about leadership in this country. And um, you, obviously, not just my opinion... 
the opinion of all stakeholders know that Olusheyi Oyebode has been doing so well when it comes to dolphin, um, when it comes to swimming, especially using the Dolphin Swimming League. So, what, what are, are you looking forward to take over or to vie for the position? of the president of um, the Aquatic Federation of Nigeria. Because you know you, you can do the right thing when it comes to swimming. Why, why, why are you not putting yourself in a position to be the president or a member of the Aquatic Federation of Nigeria? You see, the bottom line is this. When you have an institution, then you have to fall in line. Um, most of all these people that you are talking about, they are our friends. Like, for example, the head of technical uh, the Aquatic Federation of Nigeria is the one coordinating our technical appearance here. Hmm. But most of all these things is, is, is all about they need help, they need this, they need that. And the question is, what have you done yourself? And you get to a certain level that you have to say, let, let this go. Because um, you are not part and parcel. For me, I'm just only passionate about swimming. I'm just only passionate. I've been worked in a system that has produced a, a lot of students over the years, and I saw them visit out. There are some, if I should mention their name, they are children of who is who in this country that we have worked with over years. But when you see them today, they've forgotten about the skills they learned in swimming. They, are, they were doing wonderfully well during those days, but now, because there's no, they, 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 there's no transition. Hmm. At, at our own level, there are supposed to be a transition when you move from one level to the other, but we cannot get that. So we, we cannot do that. We have limitations. Even when we have a, a, a competition like this, we still have to go under the Aquatic Federation of Nigeria in order. In, in all honesty, anytime we call on them, they are always available, but we need more than that. Hmm. We need more than that. Okay, there's also this worry that um, Nigeria has not produced, I don't know how true it is, that Nigeria has not produced... Um, um, international swimmers that most often time these are um, Nigerian born cities in other country representing Nigeria. Some said we've not really produced uh, swimmers international uh, um, events. Please come again, sorry. N Nigerians. Please come again. Yeah, I I'm with you. Uh, yeah, people want to know if Nigeria has produced international swimmers in international events. Because most often time, we don't see our names when it comes to swimming. How can that be solved? And what has been the challenges with regards to having swimmers in international competitions? Uh, recently, I just said that um, the, the federal government has just approved the, the performance center in, in, the, in Abuja. The, the, the bottom line is a lot of research also be done. That is number one. Number two, like I've told you, there's this for a transition. There must be a vision, and there must be people joining that vision to make sure that most of all these, um, uh, um, most of all these swimmers we discover at our own level, are being prepared for the future. Hmm. Having been involved, like I, I, keep, I keep on repeating, many of these children, given all the basic support and all the basic training both locally and internationally, they should be able to compete with their counterparts because it's the same structure, it's the same body system. But because we fail to do what we're supposed to do, and above all, we need professionals. We need those that can understand what it takes to swim. And we need those that can understand levels in terms of swimming. And not until when we get to that level, we keep on medical and then we keep on saying the, the same thing here and there. It, it, it's more than having competition. It's more than having facilities. Yes, most of all these things are important. But what is the next level? What is the plan for a would-be swimmer? So that they will not visit out by the time they get to the, uh, to the sports festival. That is how yes, they can go. And that is what is happening. Before now, Kenyans are known for long-distance running. But now, uh, um, they, they have the 100 meters uh, records in Africa. So because they believe they can do more, they can, they, they, they can go further. And that is, just, that is just the essence. Not until when we get to that level. I, I don't think we are ready. Yeah, well said. Um, now tell us about Dolphin Swimming League. 
It's uh, I'm so well known. I'm sure probably the only swimming league um, they talk about in the country. Uh, I hope I, I stand to be corrected. But tell us about how, how did you start this? Uh, because a lot of investors or passionate people about sport will probably want to go to football, table tennis, other. We will not want to spend so much in swimming. So tell us how the Dolphin Swimming League started. Uh, well, like, like I told you, this came out of a passion. Out of a passion. I had worked in um, international school system for several years before I decided to start my own personal business. And I discovered the level of passion when we go for a swimming competition, a school swimming competition. And when I came out, I said, no, um, we should take it to the next level. It should be more than this. And that was when I spoke with a partner. And he too also bought into the idea that we need to start giving back into the system. And that was when we were able to talk to about five schools then and um and they, they, they also bought into the idea and here we are today we, we have many schools now that are really involved parents look into it and it comes in stages and like today is the last stage for the year and we've moved the league around this is the last stage of the year before we go for awards and then um, students look to that awards they look forward to that returning time and they're also using it to get um, scholarship abroad now and um, we are working towards um, collaborating with the school sports festival so that some of the best swimmers here can go ahead to represent Nigeria at the international level. Obviously, interesting story, but I know to come with these challenges, you understand? And um, since so far so good, what has the government done? I mean, in terms of something tangible, in terms of support, since you've started this, both the Aquatic Federation and the Sport Ministry, what has their promises and what have they done to put this... If there's at, any. at this level, I will tell you none. None. There are some things that are left that we just have to, I mean, forgo in, in all honesty, based on our own experiences with government. And um, I, I think there was a regime there in Lagos State that came out to support us, even with money. And another regime came at the end of the day, they said the money is spent for another thing. And here we go again. And I, I, I told them. I, I told them then that the vision of the dead, the chairman of Lagos State Sports Council, I don't want to mention the name, is that they want to use it to harness many. So they came up with this agenda and, and raised some amount of money. I can tell you today now, even we don't have any swimmer, even from public school from Lagos State, hmm. because the current regime is not interested. And this is what we are talking about. If there is consistency, people are bound to move. A lot of things are bound to happen. But when it's all about, we think about what is happening presently now. Nobody is thinking about tomorrow. And the, the only good thing is that we have the leverage. Because of the nature of the international schools we work with, they have the leverage to take this to the international level. But here we are. We, we are being left alone to sort out our problems. Yeah, well said. When it comes to expansion, um, Lagos seems to be enjoying the privilege of having Dolphin Swimming League. Are you expanding beyond Lagos, or how will other schools outside Lagos be involved in this? Yes, um, there is a plan for that in the future. First of all, we are looking at the regional uh, league before we move to national. I mean, some of what these things needs to be done in a systematic way so that the, the program will not uh, crash. But as at now, we are working on getting more schools, more sponsors for, 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 for the swimming league in the um, Lagos State. However, we should not uh, take out the fact that many of these schools do not have the facilities. So that's why we create that avenue for Lagos State to come in, get the schools without facilities together, help them, train them, and bring them for the league. They only participated twice, and since then, we did not see them, we did not see them again, because there's nobody to champion uh, the, the, the cause. But, like I said, we have a bigger vision of moving it to the national yeah. one day. Yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Um, everybody. You, you've done so much for sports, um, especially for your, you have an academy that you are doing so well too. But I, I can get, tell you that people are saying that it's high time, though you have plans to expand, that it's high time for, for, for it, even if it's not regional, for, for under state, perhaps Abuja should also be involved in a swimming league based on experience. So if you might not take it to the regional or um, national level, why don't you have another Dolphin Swimming League also in Abuja, in Port Harcourt, or other states in the country? 
Like, like I said, we are working towards that direction. But it, it takes a good structure. If we have that plan and you have a virile aquatic federation that can easily say, yes, this is the structure. Can you help us? Can we work together on this? It's not only aquatic federation. We also work with Nigeria Olympics Committee on their over program because of things like this. But not until when you have a good sponsor that is ready to take you to the next step. Uh, uh, level and we don't want to start what we crash so that's why we need to lay a foundation a solid foundation but i can assure you in a few years we are going to get there um we are going to take it to more states and um we know okay swimming swimming has become something um that um, a lot of um, people want to get themselves involved in but i don't think from reports that um, swimming is is already a pastime for us it's not something we do for leisure and um, a lot of people want to say that swimming, we find swimming among the rich kids. And some will also put it that um, swimming is an elite sport. Um, are you going to counter that, that, that swimming is an elite sport or swimming is for everybody, both the poor, the middle class, and the rich? See, um, anybody, anybody can swim. Anybody can swim, provided there is a strategic plan in order to hit the skills. Everybody has been given talent. So if you want to swim, you can learn how to swim. But there are some that are being natural and down. So it's out of, out of that little um, skills that we discover that we can take it to the next level. Swimming is not an early sport. The only thing is parents are highly interested in it. Many of the Afghans are highly interested in it. That's why they are supporting their children to take them out of the country to swim. Not because of any other thing, because of the opportunity, the global opportunity that surrounds it. But we need to harness that opportunity now to get um, the best, to get the best and have a student that can start representing us at the level. And you need to be at the lead. To same time, it's not alone. I mean, you can never have this kind of facilities built in your house. So you, we need a place where these structures can be, and people swing, and then you have a, a systematic program where you can easily fall into. Immediately, they discover you. They take you to where you're supposed to be, and they also help your education. But here, we don't have such a thing. And that is where we have the greatest challenge. And um, before, before I, I let you go, I also want to remind uh, a lot of us listeners who want to know what um, it is like to get involved. If, uh, if, they don't, if their schools are not among the schools that will be participating, how, how will the school get involved? How will parents get involved? Can you come as an individual, even not under the umbrella of a school or a private school? Can a child come with a parent and become um part of the league or it has to be involved schools alone yes um the basic reason we form synergy with Lagos state swimming association is because we can create an avenue we are those that are not affiliated to schools or we are those that doesn't have a swimming team can always come under the umbrella of Lagos state to come and swim and that worked perfectly for two years we discover some swimmers even from other schools that are not well known school but um probably we have to look into that um if we have a club that is ready to harness those talents it's, it's, it's open it's open so it's not only school um it's not only school uh, swimming programs you are a student and you are coming from another school but what we only need is to have a platform where you can swim and that is very 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 important because we don't just take anybody anyhow but if you fall under that platform, and it's only the association that can provide that platform. They've done it before, but all of a sudden, they just fizzle out. Probably maybe when a new regime comes in, we open the channel again, then we have that opportunity because we want to give everybody the opportunity to swim. Okay, uh, I have to tell you that um, a lot of, when it comes to the know-how, technical know-how about um, swimming, because we know that in the Olympics, swimming has many medals, and not just in the Olympics, many international competitions. If you have the swimming, then you can win many medals as possible. L let me take a, a, a leave from um, the, the marathon. Don't you think 
with your own experience, you have to create something that seems like a free um, swimming section or something that um, we can have a swimming day where people will be taught how to swim without making it a competition so that it can be an habit of every Nigerian to be a swimmer. I hope we still have Olushe uh, Yoye body still with us. Olushe Yoye body is the coordinator of Dolphin Swimming League. He has done so well for the development of um, of swimming in the country. Right now, as we speak, the Dolphin Swimming League is ongoing in Lekki, and it's involved so many schools. Hello, sir. We still have you with us. Thank you. It's, it's a great pleasure. Um, we, we look forward to inviting you for the awards, um, which will come up next month by the special grace of God. We keep you posted. I mean, together, we can also play our own uh, part. It's all about making a difference. That is what I've seen in life. It's not a matter of money that you can spray around, but rather than making difference in people's life. That is very, very important. Yeah. So I really appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, before, before, before I let you go, Olu Yishayoye, buddy, just one more question. How should we make swimming as an habit? How should we live from that swimming habit? How should a Lagosian want to be a swimmer? What are the habits? Where can he or she go to in, in, the, in the system where there's no swimming facilities and the person wants to become a swimmer? That's the last question before I let you go on this show. The, the most important thing is what me and you can do. I've spoken about difference now. Now we are having swimming league. We can create a lot of awareness. A lot, a lot of awareness. Um, there are a lot of stories that can be published there's a lot of public about swimming pool, I mean, about um, swimming. There are a lot of investigation that can be done. There are a lot of things media can do by propagating the interest of swimming. So when you are doing, I'm doing, every other person is doing, the awareness is going to be much, and people will come. There are a lot of sports that are even far, far, far better than football. But because we've affiliated so much to football, we give a lot of importance to football. That's why it's like it's only football everybody wants to go. But if we put swimming on that pedestal, a lot of people will come. Swimming is the best sport. It's the best sport that anybody, because it comprises the whole body. Every part of the body is being used at the same time when you are swimming. That is the essence. Okay, thank you very much, um, Ulushe Yibode, for being part of the yeah, program. Welcome. We, we wish you Thank more success you. Um, in what you're doing. Thank you. It's uh, Uli Shei, uh, Weibo, like I said earlier, is the coordinator of Dolphin Swimming League, and he has put his personal resources, put time and effort to um, have what we know as the only popular um, sp um, swimming league in the country. Because um, when we talk about um, swimming league, we're talking about how we are going to do much, much and better. And you also said that there's F um, there's plan in the future to make sure that um, the Dolphin Swimming League is not just in Nigeria, it's everywhere across the globe. <laughs>